Well, that's the way it is. Block of wood. What are we going to do with this? I got an idea. Me got an idea since this is Memorial Weekend. Let's get my pencil. Let's get some pencil. This bigger, better pencil. Where is, where's the grain? I got a hole in there. The reason why I hope that isn't going to affect this. <clears throat> in fact, I'm pretty positive. And I think since it is, well, it's Memorial Day, not Veterans Day. And a lot of people from the, um, first on YouTube, or not YouTube, but uh, on uh, Facebook, is that don't you wish a Veterans Day happy Memorial Day? It's Memorial Day or for, it's for the fallen. And so I'm going to do well, one of my buddies from the Navy, and I'm going to put him with a, he's going to have his Navy hat. So I'm just drawing right now. And he's just going to be with his hands in his pockets kind of guy. And, and uh, I'm going to go by memory because I, I want him to wear his Cracker Jacks. There's the face and there's the... He's wearing the old Cracker Jacks and here's the shoulder then. Here's the shoulder then. I'm just going to... You know, here's the other thing too. I think after I take this back too, is I have to take a look and I wonder is this you know, half light and half shade? Is it kind of annoying? Or is it my voice is more annoying? I'd ask Lynn, but I'm afraid she will tell me what I don't want to hear. I'm going to be in the Cracker Jack. Oh, wait a minute. There's a shoulder there. I prefer this shoulder because it gives me more head space. Oh, no, I got it too far down. Oh, that was almost right. That was right. When I go this way, it's still right. Okay. And I got to remember because he's got that flap there. And I think I'm going to make this because uh, he, well, he still has legs. Don't mind this. This is actually that was a reason why I got a hole in there. That was a um, hat for one of my pilgrim rough ups for a customer. And I went. I had two, so I did it one on one. I was going to do one on one end, one on the other, but then I decided, no, I think it'd be easier two on one end. The problem is, is I always like to drill the hole down in the basement. My, my big uh, um, saw is upstairs, and so why do I want to go, come from downstairs? Upstairs, back to downstairs, and so that's why I drilled a hole downstairs. I think that is pretty good to start with. Now, for starters, since the head is smaller than... Again, if I had it as at home, I would have took the, some of this to the... Especially if it's bigger, this is a bigger piece of wood. I definitely am going to take, end up taking that to the saw. All right. And I want to bring this back because the head is back. Bring this forward because the head is forward. So at least we got that kind of started. Be careful. Uh, then I want my. So you're done with this then? Yes. Okay, here's where she left here's where she left off. And she's gonna clean that. Yep, we clean it up and paint him and give him a walking stick. <laughs> Put that in there. Where is my V? Again I got a Focus the pocket is, oh, that's not my V, this is my number 11. Uh, back right here would probably be a good idea to move it. Try my number 11. Five, no. Well, it's getting busy out here. 
gonna be like. Is it? Uh, how many? Is it just one car? Or it? Oh yeah. Uh, four. I wonder if it is starting to get busy. So it's got to be one, one thirty-ish. Oh. No, it's like oh, one o'clock. We got Doug. It's about one o'clock. Yeah, got a dog here and yapping away. And I'm just gonna start putting the arms in. Doug's shut up. They always have that, that like they're they're being beat on sound. I always hate that. Like they're being walloped or something, but they're not. That's just the way they are. <laughs> Did I tell you that when I was at uh, um, Murph? Uh, um, what's the other? Jeez. Oh, I was at another campground, William O'Brien. And uh, yeah, I'm going to turn this off. Linda's right. I'll tell the story later. Even though there's more people coming, we're just going to keep carving. And also I wanted to turn this back on because we had a, a Baltimore Oriole chirping away here. Chirp. Do you see it? Nope. You no. should be right. That tree in about 1 o'clock. No, I mean about uh, 11 o'clock. All right, I want to come around this a bit here. <laughs> and then I want to get this in. <laughs> Sorry, getting that arm in. Oops, 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 careful. I'm going to get that out of there. It's starting to, because I want to get that. Keep this area a lot of wood. <laughs> Listen to them calling each other back and forth. Yeah. Sandhill cranes. The sandhill cranes, yep. Oh, they're funny. <laughs> I want to take, I want him to be bowed, back bowed a little bit. These back bows. Yeah, listen to some of those birds. They're You know, it's uh, <laughs> it's the same. We're lucky hearing some of these nice sounds, but then, yeah, we do have some people coming in, but it is a park. Get that back bowed. Now, when I carve in like this. I got my thumb, so I don't cut my hand. If you're not comfortable like that, you don't always cut away. So here, it's kind of yeah, it is kind of hard to cut away. I need you to hold on like this, or you'll have to put this in a what do you call it a holder, a uh, tripod, vice, yeah. I do have one of those, but 
And the thing is, <clears throat> is I'm just scooping. I'm not putting the, the knife on the wood and just pushing and see what comes off. Man, I know where it's coming back up. But it's still not perfect. I mean, I still could, you know, hurt myself if I'm not careful. But I'm focusing on... It's the same thing if this was at home. I would have sawed this off. I put it in such a way that the light isn't isn't kind of screwy. Now I want to be careful in this area here, this area, because I want to leave where his hand is, in there. So Lena started on a second one. What do you got? I have a little Santa ornament. It's a Santa head ornament. Simple Santa head ornament, yeah. And I'm just... Working on that. I'm not done yet. Just kind of shaping it out. These things are fun to do. Simple. Yeah, that's one thing about uh, learning how to do the Santa or the Santa head and eyes and all of that, is that then you can make an ornament out of it. I'm going to bring the elbow in. So the elbow is going to be sticking out. So the forearm is going to be in some. And it's like I said, I'm going to keep this a little around. I'll come back here at the crotch area, but... I think I have too much hand in there. I think I want to be trimming that quite a bit, but I want to make sure I got something enough. I still want to thin that leg up quite a bit. I gotta remember he's got belt bottoms too. And I want to at least get the rough out of this going. Gonna sort of connect a little bit just to where the pocket is. Or I'm thinking <coughs> He's going to have what we used to call a pea coat because it's um, he's up on deck and it's cold and uh, he's on watch and I'll get the pea coat on. Then, like I said, I want to get the shoulder in a little bit. I don't have to have it on in too much because. If he's cold or a little chilly. Was it cold up on the aircraft carrier when you were on the deck? You were yes, uh, yes, the wind the is ocean. always there. When I was on the aircraft carrier, it's um, especially watching the, the you get to go on the crow's nest and watch the Watch the birds take off. And I don't mean Tweety birds, I'm talking. I'm talking those big jets, F-14s. And I was uh, the F-14 with the VA-14, I'm sorry, with the VF. Oh, I gotta think about that. It's been <laughs> Separate the legs. 
Were you watching them just for fun, or yeah, you watching I them was, for <coughs> I was purpose? in the electronics area, and I was taking care of the avionics, broken electronics and stuff. But we were in the electronic countermeasures area there, which, of course, at the time was somewhat secret, but the technology is so old that not only I mean, even then we were the I call it Flintstone Electronics even back in the late 70s early 80s But once in a while, I'll be out on the flight deck or out, uh, out, out at sea. A lot of times we'd be in while the uh, aircraft carrier is on dry dock and where they actually put it in a, a pen and Take the water out and you can see the bottom and they scrape the bottom of the barnacles and all other kinds of things. So I'm starting to shape the feet a little bit feet with the legs. This way, take a bigger chunk this way, bigger chunk this way, and I do want to get down, get that shoe down a little deeper. I sure could have used, I did not bring my, my drake, he would have done, he would have made short work of this. Barnacles cause damage to the ship? Uh, weight and uh, it would get in. I'm trying to remember as far as the metal, but I don't think so. Nice. I think it's more like what barnacles will, um, you know, slow the ship down and uh, it would not be as maneuverable when you got so much crap on it. That's the main thing. And at the time we had so many, I don't know if we do. So many aircraft carriers, one is out, and because we always there's always I was in the Mediterranean, so there's always at least one aircraft carrier out there. And we would, when we came into the Mediterranean, and there was one leaving, I think the Saratoga, I think at the time, the sinking Saratoga, we call it because he was listing a little bit because there he, he made it home okay, but. Made it home from where? From the Mediterranean. Oh. On the Mediterranean cruise. Then. What was wrong with it? Well, I don't know. Oh. I think there was like a hole or something. Oh, geez. And um, the thing was, too, is that the best thing I, I liked about it, about the, the cruises, is of course you get off and. and yeah. And, this is uh, the ports. This is the ports and the people. Uh, we started off, as a matter of fact, we visited Boston. Boston had their their 350th anniversary, and uh, so we were out there, and that was fun, and you know, showing some of the people around, and we had visitors and stuff, and that was really fun. Then we had other little short crews, like one or two weeks. We'd go out and sort of like, I almost want to say practice, if that's the best way, kind of warm up to the, the big deal, which was a cruise, which was about nine-ish months. Well, ours was nine months. It's usually that much. And, uh, but yeah, I've been all kinds of places like uh, France and 
Italy, for, for heaven's sake, that is really bad because so many places in Italy and Israel, Israel and Greece and Did you go to Spain. Went to Spain, Spain twice, and we went the last one uh, before we left was Spain, and all oh, that was so was so great. here a little bit because he is kind of thin. That's the same with this side here. And I'm going to be needing my my V tool on that. To get my barons on that. Now he's going to have like a belt bottoms. And, oh, I should, what I need to do is put my knife down and hold on to my carbon. He's kind of a blackhead. Is that well, what they call people in the Marines, a blackhead? No. Jarhead. They're called jarheads. No. And, uh, <laughs> don't be saying that. <laughs> hey, you know what the big Navy joke was? <clears throat> Is that I tried to get enlisted in the Marine Corps. And I tried and I passed every test they had except the last test. Oh. My head wouldn't fit in a jar. Oh. That's a joke? Yep. I'm sure they got a lot with the Navy. Uh -huh. And there was one we went around. Uh, how many Marines does it take to empty the trash can? And, you know, they're, well, you know, two. No, it had to take five. You two to carry the can, two for roadblock, and uh, one to call Cadence. Hey, little, little. I don't get it. Yeah, we used it till we were in this uh, marine base where we had to do some training. I don't get it. You know, like they were in a parade, carrying just to, carrying the can oh. out. What's See? cadence? So that's what I just did. This is the oh, song that they sing. Okay. See, there you go. She was not in the military. No. Office. And then we did that until one guy says one more thing. How many sailors does it take to empty that? Trash can. I said, oh, now it's our turn. How many? I said, 25. 25. Yeah, two to carry the can and 23 to sit around and do nothing. <laughs> and, and he laughed and then I said, so what's the joke? What's the punchline? <laughs> what do you need that? I'm going to use this piece or are you saving this? No, go ahead. You got an, oh, what's your, uh, your, is that your finest finale to your... Uh, it's just a, a Santa ornament. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so nothing... Nothing, nothing new, but just a little Santa ornament. Nothing new under the sun or under the sun. clean up when we get home. Okay, so what do you got? What's... I don't know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking again. Uh, I can hear the gears. That's kind of what this guy, he's one of the 23 that uh, is kind of sitting around doing nothing, but he's probably on. Like I said, I'll put the peak coat on so he's on, uh, he's on the deck and he's uh, on watch. And again, I think I'll, I'll still be doing, be cleaning this up more. I think I got still too much where the hand is going to be, too much. But I think what I want to do, and I can tell Lynn is thinking we're getting close to the end here, that I want to at least get to the head here. And the arms is arms is a matter of keep working and keep working. I'm thinking you should do more carving and less talking. <laughs> she loves it when I talk. Yeah, the neck is going to come like this. It's going to come up. Here we go. Because it's the back there. So like that little bit of hump like I got there. Like I got on my on me. Oops. But that's fine. That's going to get rounded off. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. In fact, that's the next thing. I'll just round this a bit.
Okay. Boy, that sun sure is moving, isn't it? Moving right along. Yeah, let me take a look. We're still Why videotaping. And, uh, I don't see anything that says uh, power. I'm sure it's getting close. Okay, so. Now, he's got no beard. So, this is no Santa. So, I do want to get a neck in this guy. I do want a hat on him. Oh, nice anchor away hat on him. And just a little bit of hair. We only got a little bit of hair in the back. We're good with the, having some hair in the back. It's fine. But you are going to see those ears. Taking a break? Um, there's a fly that's around here. I just want to get away from him for a while. Stand up. All right. Well, I'm going to keep carving here. I'll keep carving. And, uh, and I want to think uh, it is starting to get brighter. Yeah. Oh, we're getting to the end of this. When we started, this is a big, um, a, a, a big shade here, and now it is really, I just wanted to clean that. What about the other side here? That just was bugging me, so I had to clean that. Here. It's like I said, it's a little choppy right now, but then, uh, like I said, I'm kind of creating a um, rough out, as it were, and then later on I'll get more of the better, get better with the details a little bit later. All right, so here's the deal. Since his head is going to be here. Like I said, he's clean shaven. Now the shoulder, we're going to come around that shoulder. Maybe I should stick it, start with a V. A V or around to whatever. That there is going to be the deepest part. Let me take, the, take a little bit more off this way. I think I'm going to have a little more head there then. just comes up like that and right there at the shoulder is the deepest part and now the shoulders are going to come up a little more so we'll come back to the shoulders because once we get the head in and then playing with the shoulders a little bit then the rest of the iron will fit in See, I mean, how I got too much of this. Let's take that off. That's starting to bug me. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> now the head, since this is going to be a chin, let's go in the opposite direction for a, hat, for a second here. Let's get his anchor away hat on. His Gilligan hat. Let's get Gilligan hat it upside down. He's on 80, so that's going to be right side up. Or else. Can we come back around a little bit. Because it's going to. Get the shoulder up a little bit. As we go, hello. Okay, now the head. Let's start the head here for the chin. The chin is here, but it's got to go down this way. So 
straight this way and then down towards that deepest part. Down towards that deepest part. See if we can get a detail to get a profile. See there's the chin gonna be and there's the neck. the hat is going to we're going to have more head for the head is because we're going to we want that ear in there next i want to put this he's on watch you can have him just stand and looking out into the waves I'll take some of this off make it even Okay, I think so far so good. Again, we'll get back to the arms. But I'm going to at least take and pencil things in now. Okay, he's going to, like he said, he's got no hair. Where are you? Right here. Where is it we can see without? So the eye is here. Nose is here. Our mouth will be down here. I think we can bring things up just a little bit. And then since the nose is here, therefore half the head. There's the where's the nose? There's the nose. And now we're gonna make sure we keep that for the ear. Again, half. Right here, you can keep that for the head, or for the ear. I like to take the V tool to the ear first, because we are, I did say V tool, where are you? To get the head kind of started. Okay, the jaw will come about the ear, so I'm gonna take some, take that off. The hair is gonna be right here, and then you take your the side of your chisel and use that as a flat chisel to get that out of there. Get that started. Still plenty. This is gonna come in a bit. Still plenty of work yet to do. Same thing as. Jaw right at the front of the ear. Hair at the back of the ear. Flat tool. Just by doing that, you roughed out. I mean, there's still quite a bit you got to dig in there for the for the neck, but you got things started. With that, next. Let's bring in the head a bit. Maybe one or two nice careful strikes there. Mm -hmm. Same with the hair. Am I still in?
something. I got a uh, fly on me. Get out of there. Take a little bit in front of the ear and the head and the face. So there, now this ear seems to be smaller. I'll come back to that because usually what I do is I play with the smaller portion of the two. Same with the arms, hands, and then I make the other, the bigger one, fit that. So I want to give this about, an, about a 30 degree angle here. This side about a 30 degree angle here. Another 30 here, another 30 here. Now we're getting started, now we're getting going here. Now we're cooking with gas. Now this ear, gotta come down like this. So the top off is sticking out. Then I gotta do here, and then here I gotta cone the ear. Watch the go this way. Gotta watch the the green. And there is basically the ear. I mean, if there's gonna be, he's a little longer than he should be. Same with this side. Now this is going to be less. Now here, get a little bit more of that out of there. Okay, again we go down. Then we bring this in. Then we cone. Make it a cone. So there we got started on the ears. Of course, we will come back and adjust, but everything is adjusted on the ear. Is still sticking out. This hair is too much. He's got too much. That's a big one. That's a nor'easter. is a And there are officers that do go around with ruler in hand. And if you happen to be walking and he don't like the way you're, if he thinks you need a haircut, there it is, he'll measure it. There you are, sailor, get your ass in the barber and get that cut. Don't do that. Like they ain't got nothing else better to do. Well, they probably should look neat. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm sure, yeah, that is yeah. true, but. So we are getting there on the head. I think I'm just going to get it started and get to the arms and then be done today. Just to get the nose down. A little bit of nose and then take a little bit of... Because what's going to happen is that bottom lip is below the top lip. Well, not even a good detail, good uh, profile yet for you here. I got to... Getting there. Let us come up. Now I'll put my pencil back in. Oh, you can't even go. Oh, in here. And 
that's the thing that uh, you know, Lynn and I like to do. We just like to make quick rough outs and then you can clean up a little later. Just get the, the concepts out there. Sure, you can use your pencil, you can draw what you should do. Or, but here, I just I sometimes like to whittle out of my mind. Now this is a cut that I've done a million times with my other Santa videos, so I'm cutting towards the eyeball. And then, down here, and then cut down to the eye line. Cut here. Cut down to the eye line. Because I'm doing it very quickly for a reason. That, and then I want to cut this. I cut this. And then add. I'm just barely in the camera there. Oops. And now I want to go here at about a 45 this way. 45 this way. And we are starting to start the cone of the mouth. But I want to get other things going here. There's where the shoulder will begin. Therefore, the neck has got to come in. Same here. And then the neck has got to start to come in. Okay, like I said, going by memory, I might, I'm getting close to a stop and with this because I want to take a look and see what it looks like. And with the iron, I do this so I can round this a little better. This tells me I can take quite a bit of harm off yet. In fact, I'm still thinking of more on the top here. I was looking, he was going to do barrel chested. And I want to bring this arch, this arch he's got here. There, that's starting to shape a little better. arm off. I think, let me do this one. Let me do this one again because I gotta get one of my round tools in there to give me a hand. And like I said, right about here. here sorry too much side and then kind of round well, I still need a little bit of here I need help with my round tool here number 11 it's in, it's in here Give me a little more roughing out of the rough out. Oops.
a little bit more things I should because he is a thin sailor but he's got uh, you know some bibs and uh, what they call it I can't remember what they call bibs but are you guys waiting for something in particular okay we were the semi interrupted but got some things done I'm gonna take my round tool and kind of clean things up I'm getting kind of close to I wanted to get into this the neck and then the hairline is that if any hair follicle hair not follicle hair touch that ear and get yourself into the barber and So as I was headed off, we had a little conversation that I said that this, this is somebody I knew. I didn't say somebody who's still alive. <clears throat> and I think, well, I don't know, let's call him, uh, if you're, you've seen the movie Midway. That, uh, that, that, I don't know, his first, first class officer, Bruno Gaido was uh, thrown overboard in the uh, Japanese ship. Okay, we'll call him that. We'll call him Bruno Gaido. Now, the, the back being arched a little bit, the arm has to come out a bit. So I'm thinking I think I might still want to take my round tool. No, I think I got it. And I was trying to carve or start assembling the behind the back here, but I think still more. I want to make sure I think his behind is a little too low. Like maybe he uh, couldn't wait to he was on duty and you know he couldn't go to the bathroom and no 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 I wouldn't say that. I think I'm just gonna have to make him a little fix it her little right. And you know there we go again is that I think if I had my my um, Drake would get in there and clean that up nicely. That's what I'm doing wrong. And see, it's kind of chippy here. And that's where the uh, green breaks from one direction to the next. So let's do some cleanup here with my V. Clean up some of it. within the side because we got to make sure that that it comes out this comes out but he's not fat he's like I said I want a nice bend to him a nice forward bend and you know after looking at that you are correct that behind is a little too low Well, we're kind of, this is a nice day where there's not too many harsh insects out yet. They're coming. I mean, they're, they're starting to come out, but right now there's not, you know, those biting black flies, for example. I'm going to carve this around here a little bit. Again, I get his hand a little higher. And like I said, right now, this is basically a rough lot. It's not, we're just out here whittling. 
enjoying a little bit of going on. Hmm. The line says this one is a little wider. And now the line says that one's a little. So again, a little bit of cleanup will help at least get us back on track here. A little bit of cleanup here and there. You see, it's not like, uh, I mean, I'm trying to get to the point where, I mean, like some, some of the very good wood carvers or the um, characters I've seen, they just take a knife and bing, 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 there you are. But that's because you know what you're doing. Here I'm not knowing what I'm doing. I uh, think I got an idea and I'm kind of feeling my way into it. So now if I take a block of wood, after I make this into a pattern, and then I uh, um, draw it on a piece of wood and make a nice cutout, have this uh, at hand, and I can look at it and say, oh, that's what I, I screwed up here and I screwed up there, I ain't going to do it on that. And Then I can say, here, take this, cut this here, and, and you come up with a piece. But here I just wanted to show how just a block of wood and just come up with something of your own. Okay, I just made a little gnome. He's going to have his hands in his pockets. He doesn't have a face yet, but 